we all love to decorate Christmas tree with bells, stars, etc. during the festival of Christmas. Now, can you tell me what type of tree is it? A Christmas tree is a type of coniferous tree because as we can see in these pictures, both are conical shape. See, both are cone shaped and therefore we can say that Christmas tree is a type of coniferous tree. Now, can you tell me where coniferous trees are found? Well, coniferous trees are found in taiga biome. Now, taiga region means land of little sticks in Russian language. Well, this biome is called so because the region is entirely covered with coniferous trees which look like little sticks. Hence, the region which is densely covered with coniferous trees is known as taiga region. Now, can you tell me in which part of the world this taiga region is found? Well, this map shows the location of taiga regions of the world. And here we can see that this biome exists between 55 degrees to 70 degrees north of the equator. Well, primarily this biome encompasses the Arctic Circle. So, we can also say that this biome is found in the sub-Arctic zone of Northern Hemisphere. Another point to be noted is that this biome exists only in the northern hemisphere whereas it is absent in the southern hemisphere. This is because in southern hemisphere in this particular zone, so since no significant land masses are present in this zone, thus taiga region is absent in the southern hemisphere and it is only present in the northern hemisphere surrounding the arctic circle. Now, as we can see here, this biome spreads across three major continents that is Asia, Europe and North America. We shall explore each of these continents in details individually. Well, firstly, this map shows the location of taiga regions in the continents of Europe and Asia. Together, they are known as Eurasia. In this map, we can see that the biome covers a major portion of the country of Russia which is present in Asia. It also covers the northern parts of some European countries like Russia, Finland and Sweden. So as we know, Russia is both present in Europe and Asia. Now, since a major portion of Siberia which is a Russian country is covered with taiga region therefore another name for taiga region is siberian region so as i just mentioned taiga region is also known as siberian region because a major portion of siberia which is present in russia is covered with taiga region. Apart from Eurasia, taiga regions are also present in some countries of North America like Canada and Alaska. Well, as we can see here, the biome mostly covers the southern portions of these countries. So, this is all about the location of taiga region. So, as I just mentioned, taiga region is only present in the northern part of the world in the continents of Europe, Asia and North America. We shall now discuss about the climatic conditions of this biome. But before we proceed with our lesson, let me ask you a question. In which of the following North American countries taiga region exists? Is it Russia, Mexico, India or Canada? What do you think? Well, the correct answer is Canada. Well, Canada as we know is a North American country and it contains Taiga region. Now, this chart shows the temperature and precipitation conditions of Taiga regions of the world. Well, firstly, we shall discuss about the temperature conditions of this biome. 
well here we can see that for a limited part of the year especially during summer season the temperature remains high however the average temperature hardly rises above 25 degree celsius however for maximum part of the year especially during winter season from september to april the temperature drops significantly and frequently it drops below freezing point see frequently the temperature is dropping below freezing point so based on these temperature conditions we can conclude that taiga regions have low temperature round the year now there are three reasons why the mean annual temperature of this biome is very low let us know about them well taiga region as we know encompasses the arctic circle thus we can say that taiga region lies very close to frigid zone that is if you refer to this picture of heat zones of the earth then you will find that in the region beyond arctic circle that is 66 and a half degree north lies the frigid zone especially the northern part of the frigid zone thus we can infer that taiga region lies very close to the frigid zone and therefore it experiences freezing cold temperature throughout the year well another reason for low temperature is that this taiga region being situated very close to the arctic circle experiences or faces slanting rays of the sun throughout the year now we all know that the sun's rays are vertical only in the torrid zone or tropical zone that is between both the tropics and the sun rays are never direct beyond both the tropics so the regions beyond both the tropics receive slanting rays of the sun see if you refer to this picture then you will find that with reference to the earth's surface the sun's rays are slanting while if you consider this portion of the earth's surface then you will find that the sun's rays is perpendicular to it so the sun's rays are perpendicular only in the torrid zone while they are always slanting beyond both the tropics now since taiga regions lie very close to the arctic circle so they always receive slanting rays of the sun and these slanting rays of the sun are less intense and therefore this zone remains cold throughout the year now apart from lying very close to the frigid zone and receiving slanting rays of the sun there is yet another reason for low mean temperature of taiga region and the reason is that taiga regions experience cold polar winds now some examples of cold polar winds that are prevalent in the taiga region are buran and blizzards well buran is prevalent in the eurasian part of the taiga region whereas blizzards blow over the taiga region of north american country now these winds originate in the polar regions and then they move towards lower latitudes and since they originate in the polar region so they are very cold so because taiga regions receive cold polar winds it further leads to decrease in its temperature so based on the three factors that is proximity with frigid zone receiving slanting rays of the sun and experiencing cold polar winds one can conclude that taiga region has low temperature round the year in fact it experiences two distinct seasons that is summer and winter but here as we can see summer prevails only for a short period of the year whereas winter prevails for longer duration thus based on these conditions we can see that taiga regions have very long winter and short summer now since during winter the temperature frequently drops below freezing point thus we can say that this winter remains bitterly cold so this is all about the temperature conditions of taiga regions we shall now discuss about the precipitation pattern of this biome 
well as we can see here it drains throughout the year in this biome and the annual rate of precipitation ranges between 40 to 75 centimeters now also as we can see here the rate of precipitation slightly increases during summer now the rainfall that occurs during summer is mostly of cyclonic origin that is the rainfall occurs due to convergence of westerlies and polar winds well we already have a video on cyclonic rainfall you can use the i dictionary feature to revise on that topic now coming to the precipitation pattern during winter well during winter precipitation occurs mostly in the form of snowfall this is because as we can see here during winter the temperature frequently drops below freezing point as a result precipitation occurs mostly in the form of snowfall thus based on these conditions we can conclude that in taiga region precipitation occurs round the year either in the form of rain during summer or in the form of snow during winter now since the mean temperature of taiga region is very low therefore the water bodies present in this region that is lakes bays canals etc freezes or they remain frozen for most part of the year as a result water transportation become very difficult now due to this low temperature round the year it has been observed that a place in russia called warhoyansak has recorded a temperature of about minus 50 degree celsius now this temperature is even lower than the temperature in the polar regions so you can understand how cool this part of the world is so due to this reason this place Warhoyansak is also known as the cold pole of the earth and the reason for this extremely low temperature in Warhoyansak is this we can see that this place is located in the taiga region which experiences low temperature round the year so this brings us to the end of today's discussion on taiga region at the beginning of this lesson we understood that taiga region is mostly characterized by coniferous trees then we discussed about the location of taiga region well taiga region is located only in the northern hemisphere around the arctic circle and it is absent in the southern hemisphere then we discussed about the climatic conditions of taiga region we discussed that taiga region experiences long cold winter and short summer and it has low temperature around the year however it experiences rainfall throughout the year in our next lesson we will discuss about the vegetation and lifestyle of human beings living in taiga region don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step-by-step -step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and iPads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, but it's rewarding too. So register for free now.